Hi guys, I'm Holly from Vitmill and this is the Vip Wrestle Lux PM40. Let's do this review. Thank you, sir. Click for sending me this bad boy for the purposes of our review. Drop down in the description and check out my link to the written review. The review, as always, written reviews, I put much more effort into writing the specific details on the written review rather than in the video review. So if you want to know exactly how what Coil performed, bang over, check that out. Uh, it is all well and good. While you're easy, click, check out the giveaway panel, check out the war panel. Check out the reviews from other great reviewers. That website has plenty of information. Check it out. Meanwhile, we're going down. So the Vibresso Lux PM40. It's quite a nice snazzy device. Look at it. It's lovely. Nice simple screen there. Look, it tells you the resistance, the puff count and the puff timer. The wattage and the battery both in a bar chart and in the percentage power button and if we look here we have the airflow control which is very stiff I quite often need something hard to push it across I don't know if that's because I ain't got any fingernails or what but it is quite stiff but once you use something it is quite easy to do but it still doesn't seem to loosen up even after two weeks of using it and loosened up so you've got airflow on this side and this side. You might notice that there's two airflow slots on this side, but only one on this side. Now the interesting thing about this is when you push the airflow, oosh, when you push the airflow across, it moves a bar. I don't know if you can see it now. There's a bar there, look. So if you push it back, you can see it like slide across. Interesting. And that's pretty much the entire thing of it. It does look now that Shall we look at the colours? Um, and then inside the pod, we'll have a quick look. It's a very simple thing. It's not battery connected. It connects with two ridges. If we can see here, there's a ridge. And there's also one on this side as well. Look. So there's a ridge at either side. And then inside, there's an indent that you can just about make out there. Put it in a bit more light. Just there. And then again on the other side. So that just clips in. It does hold in fairly securely. And nice and happy. Now, you might have noticed, and this is actually a bit strange, this bit is a liquid-free area. And I thought it created like a vacuum, but it doesn't, because there's two holes there that the air through, which is quite strange, although this chamber for the coil is a round, straight-through chamber. The presso do said that they've made a lot of adaptions for anti-leaking. Now, you might have noticed there's no fill hole. Oh, interesting. Well, this, I actually struggle with this quite a bit because it's really hard to get off. But in actual matter of fact, if you just snap it off, it's quite easy to come off. And that's actually how you're supposed to do it. So you've got the air hole here to stop the vacuum when you're filling it. And on this side, as you'll see, you've got a seal, which is quite good for stopping it leaking out. Uh, and you just pierce it through, fill it up. But then inside here, this is actually a nice silicone-y rubber type thing. And as you can see, there's two circles that clamp down onto that and that um, to stop it from leaking as well. So that works quite nicely. I do like it. It's, it's happy days and it vapes quite nicely. I don't really think I've got much more to say about the appearance. Apart from the USB-C, as you can see, the USB-C is on the very bottom edge. You can't really get any lower to the bottom than they have done. But it is USB and it takes a two amp charge rate. Let's have a quick look through the actual specifications. This beast is 96.4 long by 30 wide by 21 thick millimeters, of course. It takes a five to 40 watt power range. I'll just have a quick look at that. To change the power range, it's very much like the smart node. You press it three times. You press it three times. Maybe not, you don't press it three times, not anymore. Let's try again. You press it three times. Aha, and then it starts flashing. Now you can either press once or press and hold for it to circle through. It stops at 40, but then you press it again, it goes back to five. And then to keep your power set in, you just stop pressing, 
And when five seconds later, it locks back up. Now, something that doesn't know me about that, it says it's locked. I don't... <clears throat> Usually the device means locked is in the buttons, don't activate, but because it's only got one button, locked just means simply whether the menus, the power settings active or not. So I don't really know if you can call that locked or not, but that's what it means anyway. It's got a 1,800 milliamp hour internal battery. The screen is 0 0.6 inch OLED. It's got an e-liquid capacity of 4 mil for the US and standard. 2 mil in TPD areas. It has a USB C as we've seen, that's a 2 amp charger it in. It uses the GTX coils. It has an Axon chipset, adjustable airflow like we've just seen, which I quite like, even though it is a bit tight. It's got quad protection improved leaking system, which we've been talking about. Quite an interesting thing. It's got top fills we've just seen. And it's got the push-pull replacement coils. Let's go back up top. Welcome back, my lovelies. I've just got back for vlogger. Our last watch is vlogging to full time, and they always claim people are lovers and stuff. Sorry. So, what do I think about it? One thing I didn't mention is it comes with two pods, which has made it much easier to review rather than changing the coils all the time and liquid and stuff. You can have one coil per pod. Which is great. And I know a lot of you that like to mix. I, mean, I don't know a lot of you guys. But I know a lot of people in the shop. Like to have one pod for CBD. And one pod for e-liquid. Which does make sense. So if you're a vapor and cbd -er, The kits that come with two pods. Which I believe is every kit. Is very ideal for you. But how does it perform Harley? Crackingly. Splendid. Cracking. Done. <sighs> Seriously it does. The, I liked it. The lower home coil, which is 0 0.6, is great for those of you that want to go out with some, Go out. Can't them days when we're allowed to go out. If, if you're looking for a device that you can use mouth to lung indoors like at a bar. Or when you go outside you can take a... Nicer detail. Then the 0 0.6 is quite good at that. With a... 30 watts, the 0.6 can take quite a good diet to lung, give some decent flavour and a nice little cloud, but turning it down to 20-25, it provides a nice, really good flavoured MTL experience. The 0.8, I would say, is more for your MTL vapors. Turn the power up because you just caught that child that were walking past my shop screaming. Um, the 0.6 gives... A really good mouth to lung flavour. And the, the, the interesting thing about the 0 0.8 coil. As at 12 watts. It gives you a really good flavour. With very little vapour. It's a very discreet vape. But if you turn it up. It builds that. Uh, flow, not flavour production. Uh, vapour production. Quite a bit. So it is a good all rounder. On the low end home. On the high end spectrum of the homes. Obviously you're not going to get. Megas with this, it is a 1,800 milliamp hour mod, uh, pod device. It is called PM, which suggests it's a pod mod. That is very open to uh, interpretation. It's got adjustable airflow, which is very much mod-like, or tank-like. Um, it has only got one button. I'd, I'd say it's more of a pod system. It's very much like the Nord 2. Um, I'd, I'd argue Node 1 as well because the Node 2 is very much like the Node 1 apart from it's got more features but you know there you go so it's, it's pretty much the same size as well one second I haven't currently got a Node 2 open so but that's the Node 1 like, very very similar in size uh, and obviously the Node 2 is a little bit thicker so it is pretty much the same as the Node 2 in regards to size specifications Um but I think that's it. I think we've done everything, haven't we? We've done the airflow, we've done the pod. Leaking, if any of y'all wonder if it's leaking, I haven't dried that once. And as you can see, there is no liquid inside there at all. So kudos to the Presso for getting a pod that don't leak. I will say, I've just noticed there is a very, very little bit of mo moisture on the wall. But if I go all the way around, look, you see that? It's moisture. There's not, it's not wet. It's more damp, if anything. That's just gone all the way around the edge. Like I'll do it again, all the way around the edge. 
And as you can see, reflect off the lights. But there's a bit of moisture. It's not wet. There isn't liquid there. There's a bit more there. It's, there's not much at all. Uh, if I put, did it with tissue, you wouldn't even see wetness on the tissue, I don't think. So there you go, guys. It is a cracking little piece of kit. Can I see that from the side? Down into London. That's the 0.8 coil. So we put the 0.6 in so we can do a DTL. But with 0.6 in, it does also change wattage as well. It remembers and selects for wattage. So if we turn it up to. I know it's up me today, it's worked every other time I've used it. So it's just, I've only got one clickable finger, and that's my thumb. So now we're on 30 well, let's do a detail, show you guys what this beast can do. Is my airflow open? My airflow's half up, let's fully open it up. Fully open airflow detail. Nice look at ice at it, and then see what you just hit a little cloud. That is a nice, decent cloud for a 30 watt coil. Thirty watt, y'all. Um, so there you go. I think that's it. We're done. What did I review last week? Because we gotta do a giveaway, y'all. Let's go do the giveaway. Shame on me. I've just announced the winner. And it was paused, so I'm going to resume recording and show you who's won. Again. Elizabeth, congratulations, you have won. And if you are wondering what you won, you won the Org Vape, which I am rather jealous of, to be fair. It is a cracking kit, and I would eat that up. Not literally, I'm not um, Grinch. Although I have got a... Tell me like Grinch. <laughs> Um, sorry, sorry, behave. So, Elizabeth, drop me a message on Facebook or Instagram in regards to claiming your org vape. Congratulations. For you lot that want to win the vapor so you know what you've got to do. You've got to... What are you got to do? <laughs> you got to subscribe, if you haven't already. Press that button. You got to comment in the comments below. Just after the description, it'll give you a comment box. Bang a comment in there, and you will be automatically entered. If you want to comment, but you don't want to be in the draw, just put in the comment, this is not an enter, or I don't want to win. Blah, 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 blah. That's what you got to do. Um, Good luck on that. Please do read the terms and conditions, because it'll say things like you have to pay a postage. Now, boom. During lockdown, although I am still... Because I use the device uh, before I send it and stuff... Although I am shipping out for vapemill.co.uk and I'll be doing click and collect for the shop and stuff like that, if I can. I won't be, during lockdown, last time, I didn't post stuff till after lockdown. So if you do win, please remember you've won something. Catherine, um, Elizabeth, I am happy to send yours because it's before lockdown. Um, and people, if you do want me to send yours, then that's fine. Uh, I'll do my best to make sure we're clean and everything. Uh, but anyone that doesn't want to receive it and wants me to hold on to it for a couple of weeks to make sure it's safe, then that's fine by all means. As long as you message me within two weeks claiming it, then I'll hold on to it for as long as you want before sending it. That is up to you. I am willing to do that for you. Anyhow, anyhow, anyhow. I think that's it. Um... Also, if this review is later on in the night than usual, please don't hit me in the comments for it. I am sorry, I've got a lot on, obviously. I've got a shop to run. It's going to be locked down in two days, so there's a lot I need to do. There's a lot of people that have messaged me asking for bulk orders to see them through. So I've got all them people to contact and stuff and try and keep them coming at the right times and stuff. So I am exceptionally busy at the minute, so if this review is a couple of hours or a day late, I am super sorry, uh, but I will do my best to get it up. 
roughly the right time. Peace, guys. I love you all so very much. Stay safe. Um, you know what I mean. Be, uh, regardless of anything about the virus, I don't want any of you to have it. Uh, just in the same way, I don't want any of you to be ill of anything. So make sure you're safe. Make sure you get hands sanitized and all that. I'm not going to preach to you. You know how to look after yourself. Just stay safe from everything. Um, if any of y'all need to talk during lockdown, you know, if, if you're feeling a bit out of here, then just message me. If you want, we'll do a live stream and chat and stuff. Um, just make sure you're safe in the head and physically and everything else. I love you guys lots and lots, and I will do whatever I can to keep you all sane. Not sure I'm sane enough to keep you guys sane, but if my insanity will keep you sane, then let's do it. Anyhow, peace. No, I don't do that, do I? I, go, I just go, um, <laughs> love you all lots. Stay cloudy. I think that's it. Um, have we done? Are we done yet? <laughs> Shit, uh, what else have we got to do? Come on, Ollie, this, we do this every week, and I, for some reason today, my brain's just not there. What do we got to do? Monday. Hey. I've you got to say goodbye. Is that it? Do you say bye now? I don't need to do. <laughs> That's all, folks. <laughs> what does Bugs Bunny do? That's all. No. Oh. One minute. I'm just gonna watch that, and I'll come back and say that's all, folks. And that's all, folks. I'm not gonna be able to do this, though. But I wish I said. I wish I never said I was gonna be able to do it, but. And that's all, folks. <laughs> the, the, the underlining issue here is that the stream, the video, has to end at some point. <sighs> Fuck this shit. Bye. <laughs> oh, shit, you said bye. You said you're fucking... <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going this time. I'm really just going gonna, gonna to press that button and I'm just going to go. Please don't leave me. Uh. <laughs> I just said goodbye. There's <laughs> 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 just been someone, someone looking at me like, what's, what's he doing? <laughs> I was like, <"Shout." laughs> So I think it's time to go.